So let's take a look at an example problem that could be um, given on a quiz. So similar to what we've seen um, in the lecture, this problem here asks that if you have an instruction um, that is located at a particular address, right, given that that's the address, and that this is the instruction, um, the question is to which instruction, what is the address to which the instruction is jumping to, right? Where will it branch? And so um, we can look at this and we'll figure out that this is a branch type of instruction and that this instruction has an immediate value. Notice that this value has its most significant bit set to be a 1, so this is a negative value. Um, so given that this instruction is here, and this is hex 20, which is a base 2, 30, uh, base 10, 32. So the instruction that would come after this would be a base 10. Well, each, each instruction is four bytes away. So this would be um, 36. So I'm ignoring the 0, 0, 004, etc., etc., And I'm just working with the lower nibbles and using those lower nibbles as the address. So the first question is, if this is where the instruction is, this is, and this is where the program counter currently is, this is the program counter plus four. So this branch instruction must change the program counter um, to jump some number of instructions that will be, and that, that number of instructions is going to be added to this program counter value. So the question is, what is that? Um, the F, 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 C. So it's two's complement notation. And um, so what I'm going to do is um, convert it. So it's 16 bits. So it's going to be many zeros. And then the last. Um, well, it's going to be many ones, but once you flip them, they will be zeros. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the last one is a 12, so that's an 8 and a 4. So 1, 2, 4. Eight. So that's the value. So the question is, what is this value? Um, the FFF with the C at the end. And if I flip all of the bits and add 1, um, that 3 and 1 give me a 4. So what I'm looking at here is a negative 4. So given that the program counter is at 36, I'm not going to just simply add negative 4, even though I'm going 4 instructions up um, each instruction occupies four bytes. So what I'm really going to do is negative four and then, so it's, since it's four instructions, and then there are also four bytes per instruction. So this value that we get here will always be multiplied by four to reflect the number of bytes in total that we need to um, add so I'm going to go from 36, I'm going to add to it negative 16. So that's going to be a 36 plus a negative 16, um, which means that I'm branching to the instruction that's located at um, this address. Um, so, and if I had written this out, Let's say I don't want to do the math, and it's short enough. Since this goes up every four bytes, 
it would look something like this. So, um, and so forth. So if I had these other instructions, I could see um, kind of the layout. Now, since he's saying go up four bytes from where you are, four bytes would be one, two, three, four. I know that I have to go up to 20. That's one way of looking at it. Um, but if this number is big enough, it's going to be harder to do what we just did here. So, um, so it looks like this answer is right. I need to encode that as a hex value. I know that uh, 20. Um, if I do something like this, 20 divided by 16 is going to be a 1 with a remainder of 4. So it's going to be a hex 14. And you can check that hex 14 corresponds to that. So the address to which this in instruction jumps is 0x0400. And then 1, 2, 3, and a 16. So that's the, ad that's the address to which this instruction branches.